Are you watching too many mountain bike videos on YouTube? Are you tired of being a couch stain ready to get in shape? Then you, my friend, might be in the market for a new mountain bike. And Bobo's got your back. On today's episode, I'm going to walk you through the steps and offer my best advice on, well, how to buy your first mountain bike. You're biking with Bobo. Basically, it's like this. When you buy your first mountain bike, it's crucial you get the right thing. The last thing you want to do is buy a bike that sucks because that could turn you off from the entire sport and then you'd never find out how far you could have taken it. So don't make the classic mistake that so many people make. When buying a new mountain bike, don't go to Walmart. Classic mistake. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I am not knocking Walmart. It's probably your first instinct anyways about most things. Like, honey, we need groceries, go to Walmart. We need beer, Walmart. Need a new shotgun? Walmart's got that. Tampons? Walmart. Walmart does a lot of things well. Mountain bikes are not one of them. Let's see what kind of brands they got here at Walmart. Oh, look at this one here. Next. Yeah, if there were a Tinder-like app for mountain bikes, I'd be swiping left and being like, next. Uh, we got Genesis. Uh, that's just a good band. Coming in the air tonight. Oh, low. Because none of these bikes have good components on them. None of these bikes are built to be upgraded. None of these are any good. So yeah, what you need to do is go to a real bike shop and get what I would call a real entry-level bike. So if you're new to the sport, try not to forget that you don't know shit about mountain bikes. And these salesmen, their power lies in jargon. So before you go into a local shop, get online and do your homework. Look up some basic mountain bike terminology. Say shit like 650B. Is that a one by? Dialed. Downside. Hook it. Burn. Booter. Cleaned it. Oh, gnarly. That way when you go in, they'll think you know what you're talking about. XT brakes, XT 11 speed, drivetrain, dropper post, which is probably one of my favorites. 46 tooth chain ring for your granny gear. What the hell is this guy talking about? Awesome engagement in the hubs. <laughs> Crap. Exactly. So tip three is what bike to get. There are two basic types of mountain bikes, hard tails and full suspension. A full suspension sounds exactly like what it is. It's got a front fork and it's got a rear suspension. If you live in a mountainous area with loads of downhill to choose from, you might want to just go ahead and invest the money in a full suspension bike. But if you're like the rest of the world, an entry level hardtail is the bike you're looking for. A good hardtail is going to have a nice front fork, it's going to have great components, and it's going to be an awesome trail riding experience for you. You can get a solid hardtail from anywhere between $400 and $600. Which leads me to step four, beer. Beer is just good for the mind, body, and soul. And it's really gonna soften the blow of your newfound debt. Once you figure out whether or not you need a full suspension or a hardtail, the next step is making sure you get the right size bike. There are different wheel sizes. There's 26, 27 and a half, and 29er. And finally, step number five, convince your spouse that you need a new mountain bike. So what I like to do is pretend like I'm on a casual conversation with a friend and time it just when my wife is coming home from work. That way she'll unsuspectingly stumble upon what seems like a normal conversation. Oh, that's her. She's here. I'm gonna put you on speakerphone. Yeah, man, I really think you should go for the $3,000 bronze. Hi, honey. Hi. But the $600 bronze is not for me. I don't do the trick. Yeah, she's gone. Sweet. Do you think she bought it? Oh, yeah, dude. That was perfect. Wait, am I still on speakerphone? 